Welcome viewers to Soft Demi, a project control and engineering software academy. Our today's content is simple. We are just uh, continuing after a long time uh, due to a break. Now we'll continue our videos. You can write any comments in our videos to have or request any video. This is just a little bit trick uh, have been asked by one of my viewer and he just contact me on WhatsApp and he asked me this question and how to show in Primera P6. Uh, basically the question is how to show uh, the activities which are having uh, which is where schedule person complete and performance person complete is not equal basically the question can be there can be two two type of questions here my topic is based uh, on how to filter uh, the activities where performance and schedule person complete is not equal how to filter that one in primavera p6 so the question can be filter performance filter activities air performance percent and schedule percent complete both are not equal One question should be like this one and other question you can say here, you can say here plan value cost PV, which is plan value cost and the other one is, okay PV is basically schedule person complete not performance, okay earned value EV, you can see here. So this is now trending here in uh, Arabs. So every planner is just looking for this one EVM. They have a focus on EVM instead of just going through critical path. Everybody is focusing on EVM, and that's uh, you know uh, a completely not a con planner's concept that he should only focus on EVM. EVM just cost based concept, and it's it's it, it does not mean that. Uh, you're following EVM and uh, you're following some percentages on your project and you are just uh, doing a high level planning and advanced planning. So it, it's not related to uh, high level planning, but this is a question I'm just solving. It's a different debate that rather we have to look out the CPM or we have to look out uh, EVM. So CPM basically Primavera P6 scheduling, Primavera P6 scheduling is P6 scheduling is basically CPM, not EVM. Is basically it's a it's a CPM based schedule software. CPM based, not EVM. Okay. So everybody here planning like in Arabs, uh, the focus on EVM. Like concept is like focusing on schedule person complete, performance person complete, plan and everybody is focusing on that one they have like little percentage focus 0.01 percent one percent so that, that's a completely wastage of like planning uh, you can say the planning concepts uh, now let's go here now see uh, there, there must be one more question that how to see the activities how to filter or see activities filter filter activities that are planned to be performed but actually not done as per schedule there can be a question and also how to see or how to filter activities performed before formed till date before ahead the schedule and this will be behind the schedule this will be behind the schedule this is just resolving one kpi which is just spin EVM is just that. 
Okay, so these these can be questions from maybe different uh, your client consultant whatever they are. So how can you resolve this one in P six Primavera P six? How Primavera P six will work to resolve that one? Here I will go in my schedule and I will open my schedule first of all, and I will create one user defined field. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, let's let's go here. And let's go here. Okay. So before I will adjust my P six. Okay. Let's re resolve delay. I will add here schedule person complete and performance person complete. And now let's go here and we'll go here user defined field. And in user defined field, you will create one column you will create one column let let me delete this one already added okay here in user defined field first of all you will create one column here user defined field you can create any type of column i will go and add a number column and i will create a difference schedule percent and performance So this one is our column okay let's you can also add that column here column and here you can add that column from user defined field what is that column difference you can add this one column here difference schedule person complete and performance okay so this column is added there you can also many the column into center for all this one so I just added so the layout is new. So I haven't adjusted the layout yet. Yeah, this one is difference in schedule and performance person complete. Like a filter and mm, you can see here columns. Here edit center okay press okay. Now the next step is going to global chain, get a new global chain. You can write here difference schedule and performance S and P. Okay. No filter above. You just add here the column difference in schedule and performance. This column here, different schedule and performance. Then go here, type here schedule as schedule person complete minus performance person complete. Okay, let's cross it. You can do for labor, non labor, everything. Okay, now just change here, apply yes, commit changes say no press ok ok now we have to filter out the activities where performance and schedule person complete are not equal ok this one and now let's let's go here go here in filter so now this one step is to create a filter first we have to apply the global chain now i will create a filter difference schedule and performance I'll create here difference schedule performance is not equal to zero is not equal to zero okay we'll have to write not equal to zero so any activity which have a zero result will be filtered now so you can check it here now so all the activities where the schedule percent complete and performance percent is not equal so have been filtered here you can see here 10% uh, 100 minus 90 10% 75 you can see here 100 minus 25 so here you can check here activities here minus 100% means so any activities which have minus less than zero okay less than zero their performance percent complete is greater than schedule percent complete less than zero 
less than zero less than zero difference result shows performance is greater than schedule and greater than zero greater than zero shows schedule percent is greater than So to show the activity which are planned and still not perform 100%, so what you have to do, you have to show activities which are greater than zero. Okay. Uh, so this one question uh, filter, uh, how to see activity filter that are planned to be performed, actually not done as side. So this one is, uh, this one apply here. Okay. Let's see here less than zero. We'll apply less than zero here, and this one is applied here. is an ahead the schedule okay okay let's see black white okay, so greater than zero and less than zero hmm. wait mm, I so if i have to see activities which are Plan, uh, plan to be done here, but not performed. So we we'll fire filter the greater than zero. Okay, okay. We'll modify is greater than zero or equal to uh, or greater than zero. Okay. So you will apply this one. So these activities are planned to be performed, but actually actually not done. Okay. For example, this one is 100% planned, 95% done. Okay, this one is 100% uh, planned, 0% done. Similarly, for the other one, activity which are performed ahead the schedule, you can see here less than zero. Okay, got it. These are the activities which are minus, like 79% planned but 100% done, 0% planned, 85% done. Okay, so this this is the same. Uh, now the last one question is uh, about uh, planned value and earned value cost both different similarly you have to go here in the user defined field column and similarly you will apply here user defined field column where is the user defined user defined field column same you will add here difference difference in PV and EV numbers you will add here same column and then you will go here in the global chain and you will apply the global chain which is s and p same global chain uh, uh, pv uh, and ev but here you will write here planned value cost minus earned value cost and here the user defined field column and change apply you can add, add that column also there and you can make filter that that filter will be similarly same thanks for watching some my video i uh, will come up with a new video and as per your questions as per your comments you can write the comments under my video and you can contact us through our whatsapp number my whatsapp number given i have been given at the end of this video and also in the description of this video and you can also visit our site www.softydemy.com uh, there my our number uh, have been given on uh, whatsapp number have been given under that uh, website you can check it on the website which is there on the site thanks have a good day